Hey guys, Ricky Wysocki here, and I want to share some swing tips that can help any player from my skill level all the way down to a beginner player. The first step is going to be setup. I think that's the most important thing, and I'll build off of that each step, but I think it doesn't matter how good your form is, if you don't set yourself up for a successful shot, you're not going to be consistent. So for the first one, I'll throw a shot and I'll kind of just line up everything, and I'll expand on it as we go. but. I want the first thing is gonna be, I like to line my two feet up wherever I'm, I'm gonna aim. I don't like to aim like this. I just like to aim two feet in the, first, in, in the direction that I wanna throw. That way my first step is lining me up to square up my shoulders and now everything is going in that direction where I'm aiming to start. So line up where I wanna throw. I'm just gonna throw a nice smooth like controlled distance hyzer. So I'm gonna line up here, here. First step is gonna be my shoulder turn. So now if you notice, my first step's here. Now everything, my, my, my legs are moving, my shoulders are moving in that direction where I pointed from the start. So here. The second tip is gonna be the timing of your run up. I like to go from slow to fast to build up that momentum going through your shot. And the, the cue mentally for me, as soon as I set my foot down, my front foot, I'm reaching back with my arm. So it's like a simultaneous step, reach back, step, reach back. And then I know that's the cue for my head that as soon as I step my foot down, I'm ready to go forward. So I'll show you that also. The third step is gonna be arm swing. So for me, what I like to feel like I'm doing is it feels like I'm elbowing whatever angle I wanna throw, my elbow leads at that angle. So if I'm throwing a hyzer, my elbow is gonna lead and I'm gonna lead like this and come through with the hyzer angle. If I'm throwing flat, my elbow's leading and it's creating that lag from your elbow coming forward and the lag of your arm whipping through the shot and that's how you can get extra distance. The fourth step is gonna be hip rotation and timing when you turn your hips. Obviously you can turn them too early, too late, but I like to lead with my arm, elbow, and then have my hips kind of rotate through as a follow through motion. So think about it as elbow, arm, hips. So that's kind of what I'm gonna just, that's what I make mental notes of when I'm just in the field practicing. If my timing gets off, I just kind of take those mental notes and say, all right, elbow, arm, lag, hip rotation. And so it's kind of like, obviously it's all one motion, but when you're practicing trying to get it down and get the timing drilled into your head, that's what I'm thinking of. The fifth and final step is gonna be your arm angle. And there's a lot that goes into the arm angle and there's a lot of different ways to achieve it. But for me, what works for me and keeps it the simplest is using my upper body to control my arm. So if you notice I'm throwing flat, I'm gonna stand straight up. If I change my posture just that little bit and lean back a little bit all the way through my run up, now I have an ante release already. So I'm gonna have my shoulder or my elbow up lead with my elbow and my arm's gonna lag through on an ante instead of flat. And, so, and, the, and then the hyzer is obviously the opposite. I'm gonna lean over a little bit. And you don't wanna do ridiculous, but like just a little bit to allow your body to get in that motion to be able to copy whatever your shoulders are doing. The shoulders are so important. And so it sounds weird to, to, to talking about arm angle, but your shoulders dictate your arm angle. So. Now let's try a severe ante, just cause that, that's kind of the most exaggerated way for me to show you guys how the, the shoulders impact your arm angle. So I'm just gonna kind of throw an ante out and turn it. And so what I'm naturally gonna do is just stand a little bit to the right. If you notice, like if I hold my disc like this and just move like this, that, can just, that just shows you guys how much the disc angle moves without me even moving my arm. I'm not moving my arm at all. But I'm going from ante to flat to now hyzer just by doing this. So that's why it's so important. Just like a basketball shot, it's really about getting that wrist motion to snap on that angle at the last second because if you do everything right and you come out and you go into your shoulders go down or you come back to flat instead of keeping this angle, you're, you're just completely gonna just hyzer out. And that's what a lot of people do is they don't, it's the first couple times they try it, their muscle memory and their, their wrist is just so naturally you done, doing a hyzer that it's hard to really feel that any release with their wrist. So let's go throw a nice power Anheuser. So lean back, arms, elbows gonna come through at an ante, and then my arm's gonna lag through on that angle.
That's how you throw a bomb. <laughs> so that's your Saki Bomb, five tips for success with a backhand. Hopefully it helps you out, improves your distance, and improves your consistency. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next time.